Hello, business owners and my fellow citizens. How are you doing? Uh, this is Daryl Guberman. I'm the CEO of Guberman PMC LLC, a quality consulting firm here in Connecticut. Uh, we assist companies in manufacturing quality and also special processes. We've been doing that uh, for now going on 12 years and also ISO certification, all derivatives. Um, my fellow citizens, this video today is, uh, is unbelievable. You're going to find the crux of the data. I'm not going to show placards as I normally do because I've already showed it over and over and over to you. I don't want to give you narcolepsy. That's that sleeping disease where you'd fall asleep watching the video. But I will give you a little bit of uh, an, inter, uh, an interlude, an uh, introduction. And uh, again, I'm Daryl Guberman. I'm the CEO of Guberman PMC LLC, a quality consulting firm here in Connecticut. And we've assisted companies in manufacturing and quality and also special processes and ISO certification, all derivatives. And my experience uh, in time is uh, aerospace, um, medical implants, medical materials, printing and plastic distribution, where I dealt with all arenas of, uh, of industry. This video today is about Chinese copycat. Bell's V20 Valor and Boeing Lockheed Sikorsky Defiant X unveiled in Zawei China Airshow WTF. Let me just tell you a little bit of background about these companies. The one thing that I looked at Bell, as a matter of fact, I looked at them to find out if they were on ANSI's board in any way, shape, or form. I could not find that. We looked high, we looked low, Bell helicopter, uh, and I'm sure there's a reason for it, but I must also caution Bell in the sense of this. Many times when the aerospace industry, when that organization loses a contract, you have a lot of engineers and management, senior management, jump ship and go to the next aerospace company. So we really don't need, we really don't know who went from Bell to Sikorsky, from Sikorsky to Bell, getting panicky over the factor that Bell won the uh, helicopter contract. Well, there's an issue because Lockheed brought back into uh, the forces about feeling that they got slighted by not getting uh, the contract uh, for uh, the Defiant X and Bell getting it. The problem that Bell is going to incur is the factor that Boeing, Lockheed, and Lockheed Sikorsky all sit on ANSI's board, right over by those federal agencies that allocate funding for those programs. So Bell may have their hand on their tuchus trying to fight this one, okay? Because you also have the American Bar Association that deals with ANSI. So there you have another powerhouse as far as the legality factor. So you've got government agencies sitting on ANSI, along with Lockheed, along with Lockheed Sikorsky, and along with Boeing on top of it. Boeing sits on um, uh, ANSI's board, and they also sat between 2015 and, and 21 on ANAB's board. And one part of ANAB's board, Boeing could grant, suspend, and withdraw certification. In fact, Boeing has gotten hacked by China. So has Lockheed Martin. So has Sikorsky while they were under United Technologies, which United Technologies also sat at the time on ANSI, and they still do. So let me give you the sequence of events of what this means. They say both Bell has gotten their data hacked Lockheed Sikorsky and Boeing has gotten their data hacked. And, <clears throat> and this is a picture of both the, uh, the Lockheed Sikorsky Boeing um, uh, co-operational aircraft and you have the Bell Valor. Um, there's an issue. In 2009, Lockheed Martin gets hacked by China. Okay, taking the F-35. Now look at this sequence of events, business owners. As again, I will say that all the data that you will want to find the research is down below. If you need anything, don't hesitate to contact me, 203-556-1493 or Daryl, TQRS at yahoo.com. So you have Lockheed that gets hacked uh, by, by China in 2009. You have the factor that... <clears throat> In 2012, the division of United Technologies, and all of them are sitting on ANSI, okay? And you have the factor that um, Sikorsky gets hacked by China in 2012, taking the Blackhawk T-700 engine, etc. In 2015, you have an article in the Connecticut Mirror that says, with China's okay, Lockheed Martin closes in on the purchase of Sikorsky aircraft. And on top of it, you have four Connecticut lawmakers, and they're going to be in this video as well, in the body, as I told you, in the description 
box below this video with them being exposed because they approved and condoned the factor that Lockheed Martin was working with communist China. They were like with their pom-poms out doing a rah-rah. I'd love to see Blumenthal in a skirt for Pete's sake. Anyway, you have Blumenthal, Richard Blumenthal, you have Jim Himes, you have Christopher Murphy, and Rosa DeLauro, and they're all praising Lockheed Martin. In fact, it says Connecticut lawmakers praise Lockheed Martin for working with an international regulator. Okay, so they got hacked. You have Bell that got hacked now, taking this information. In fact, you're going to find in the body again of this video down below, <clears throat> it's going to be, Chinese copycat, Bell's V-20 Valor, Boeing Sikorsky Defiant unveiled in Zhuhai, China Air Show. And you're going to see the video, it's a short video, it's going to be the very first item uh, of concern underneath this video. Uh, you have a factor that Boeing's quality is in the trash. And let me just tell you about this. Boeing in 2002 wrote a procedure, a procurement procedure to its customer, to its suppliers that said if you are AS9100 certified, which means AS9100 is for aerospace certification ISO standard, then we will accept your quality or whatever the heck you send. We don't have to send it any more Boeing inspectors to look at your facility. Isn't that a tender moment? In 2008 or 2009, um, uh, ANAP, ANAP got a written report from Boeing and other, um, and other aerospace uh, OEMs that stated that they didn't like the way the registrars were handling uh, corrective actions, and they thought that they were really dragging their feet. I have this documentation. Again, 2002, they said, okay, and basically for 20 years, they were not sending an inspection of people. I'm not saying all of it. I'm saying a majority of it was accepted by an AS9100 certificate. And you find out about the 737 MAX, the Ethiopian Malaysian Air crashed. You find out about the um, Boeing 777, the 787, all have quality issues. And this is from a lot of issues with not the personnel. It's got to stem from the board of directors all the way down. You have people on the board that have no clue about aerospace. You have a CEO like David Calhoun. The only thing he knows about aerospace is when he used to work at GE, he probably touched the aircraft engine as he walked on the line. Who knows? I do this because these two aircraft that people are fighting over now have already had China take the data, given them the data. Because between 2015 and 21. ANSI ANAP was watched over by Communist China via the International Accreditation Forum incorporated in Delaware. A gentleman of Zhao Jinwu, and you will find this in the videos below. Communist Chinese National, who's been involved with our quality since 1994, was the chairman of the IAF, was handed the chairmanship of the IAF incorporated in Delaware. He at the time was also the chief executive of the China National Accreditation Services, which certified the suspect lab, and more than likely the lab, that released the COVID-19 virus onto the world, the plague, okay, which can happen again. The reason why it can happen again is because you then had a Miss Pamela Sale, the vice president of accreditation for laboratory for ASCLD lab that is owned by ANSI ANAP, and you also have A2LA, which is uh, separate from them, but she is the uh, vice president of accreditation for uh, ASCLD Lab and also ANAB, who stands as a register and also an accreditation body. Unbelievable. This is craziness. She stated under deposition that from one laboratory to another, they're out of control. There are no protocols. There are no consistent standards that they go to, yet they issue them a certificate and... A Mr. Marvin Schechter in 2011, in a report to the state of New York, stated that these laboratory certificates are no more than a badge of honor. So we're going to go into here as well, because I'm going to show you this. We have the factor, and here it is. We have the factor, you have the F-35 Lockheed aircraft. And you have the China J-31, which is modeled exactly uh, after uh, the F-35. You have the Z-20, okay, Chinese aircraft, 
modeled after the Black Hawk. And at the time, Black Hawk, that when they hacked it, it was owned by United Technologies. But those technologies have been raped, okay? And Lockheed buys it. Boeing uh, had their technology taken. And also now Bell has their technology taken. We American people should say, whoa, with these programs. And the people who are working on the floor should get a monumental bonus and they should clean the slate of the managers, actually going from vice president all the way to senior management and board of directors. They need an enema. Yes, and I don't even think an enema could clean that sludge out of those places because they're the ones. Don't they understand to have cybersecurity issues, you have to, to stop it, you have to take the computer offline and do everything and have it hand carried from one division to another and take it off the internet. There is no such thing, and I say this emphatically, as cyber secured systems. They will tell you because there's a lot of money to be made, but you cannot protect your computer. It is almost impossible when you're trying to fool around with open electrons and trying to stop that. I am going to stop here, business owners, my fellow citizens, but this video today is about Chinese copycat Bell's V280 Valor and Boeing Lockheed Sikorsky Define X unveiled in Zawai Airshow WTF. As I said again, the major material for this video will be in the body of it. I'm not going to go into placards and show you the uh, show you the um, the massive amount of data I have. You'll find it down below. Again, if you have any questions, don't hesitate to contact me 203-556-1493. And I will say this again from AA Milne. <laughs> It is easy, or it is easier to believe a lie that one has heard a thousand times than to believe a fact no one has heard before. And uh, as Victor Hugo said, and this goes to the ANSI crowd, no army can stop an idea whose time has come. And I thank you.